Okay, let's say that we have a force time graph. Force in, in uh, newtons, time in seconds. And uh, this is an impulse momentum question. So the force for the first four seconds goes from 0 to 15 newtons, and then from 4 to 10 seconds it goes from 4 newtons. Sorry, from 4 to 10 seconds it goes from, it stays constant at 15 newtons. So, sorry, I need another pen. I'm back in order to figure out the impulse. So we have an object with a mass of 2 kilograms. Its initial velocity is 5 meters per second. And I want to use the graph to figure out the impulse. And from once I have that, I'll figure out the velocity using the impulse momentum theorem. To figure out the impulse, that's the area under the graph. So we need to figure out the area of that triangle and add it to the area of this rectangle. That's going to give us the impulse. Impulse is the area under a force time graph, no matter what it looks like. So, impulse, we're going to use a J for impulse. That will be a half. This is a triangle. One half times 15 times 4 plus the area of the rectangle, which will be 15 times 6, right? 4 to 10 is 6. So that's going to be um, it's times 4. So a half of 4 is 2 times 15 is 30, plus 15 times 6 is 90. So that is 120 newton seconds. So there's the impulse. Again, it comes from the area of the graph, force time graph. To find the velocity, you know that the momentum the impulse momentum theorem says that impulse causes a change in momentum, which is going to be the mass times the final minus the initial velocity. So J equals M delta V. This is 120, the impulse. The mass, I said, is 2 kilograms. The final velocity is what I'm looking for. And the initial velocity is 5. 120 divided by 2 is 60 equals V minus 5. And so V equals, what, 65 meters per second. All right. So again, impulse, if you have a force time graph, impulse is the area of the graph. And then you can use whatever number you get in the impulse momentum theorem to solve for whatever it is you're looking for.